All right, folks, this is Captain Dave from Captain Dave Sport Fishing Charters YouTube channel. If you're not a subscriber, and I'm driving from my house in Jacksonville, Florida. This is one of the many trips that I have made over the years so far, but I'm going from my house in Jacksonville, Florida to the VA hospital in Gainesville, Florida. And to give you some background, I've met some of my subscribers may have heard me mention it, but for probably a year or more, and it's gotten really bad since October when I had my last biopsy is prostate issues. I'm taking all kinds of, I've taken almost every antibiotic under the sun because it's getting to the point now that I'm on antibiotics for the sheer fact that I have a urinary or bladder infection. It seems like to me, and I'm even jotting it down in my charter fishing reservation book. Okay, I do fishing charters in Jacksonville, Florida. So I'm on a boat with people. And when I'm on a boat with people, and it being men and women, I even mentioned it to the women, that if I gotta go, everything gets dropped. And I'm talking about going, you know, restroomish. And if I don't go, it'll run down my leg in 20 seconds. That's been the problem. I have a 9.35 PSA level. But then right now, the doctors aren't even all that concerned with PSA level. I had my last prostate biopsy, which sent me to the emergency room afterwards twice because they did the biopsy while I had an infection. The big story after that was everything, the entire infection, and if you were watching this because you've had this happen, everything drained into the testicles. And I don't know if there's, there's definitely other men who have had this problem and your testicles go to the size of at least eggs, if not lemons. And it shuts your entire world down. The doctor told me it's four to six weeks. Well, everything down there went back to normal. And now I still get twinges of it because every time you get the urinary infection or bladder infection, whatever you want to call it, now when I get the bladder infections, I still get twinges down there of something happening. And I'm, when I say down there, I'm talking about the testicle area. And my problem has always been, I can't hold it very long. But my dad is sitting right here. Hi. <laughs> He's sitting right here. He's been through all this and he's been through the reason I'm going to the VA hospital in Gainesville right now. And it's 8.47 in the morning, the day before my birthday. It's February 13th. Thank God it's not Friday, February 13th. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day, my birthday. I'm not even worried about it. I gotta get through today first. <laughs> so uh, he's been through everything because how long was it ago? That he 
had prostate cancer, right, what, 20 years ago? 20 years ago. And they just radiated him, which we find out now kind of killed his bladder. But they're wanting me to do, what is this called again? It's like a... Eurodynamics. Eurodynamics test. And the reason Pops is going with me here, he's my... I've been there, I've done it before, and now I gotta go through it. I've been pushing and pushing and pushing for them to do something. Am I supposed to be on antibiotics and some kind of stupid pill the rest of my life? And they finally said, when I went for a second opinion through the VA, through another urologist at the VA hospital, Hey, what the hell can we do? And he's like, oh, well, you can do this and this, blah, blah, blah. And I went, yeah, my dad did that. Let's do that. So we're going to go over what this Eurodynamics test is all about. And what would you say it is? It's testing your pee well, flow. It's, test it's testing your ability to hold fluids. Oh, okay. So, it's testing well, when that. I did it, they use the example of you're driving in a car and you need to go. Like we are right now. Right. And what you're, what the first phase of it is, you need to go, but you don't want to pull over yet because it's, you're in traffic and all that. All right. So, you hold it. Hold it. Longer. I don't do that. I don't they, do that anymore. But they tell you to hold it. Okay. And... Then you reach a point where they want you to tell them when you cannot hold it any longer. It's painful. You've got to go. You're going to pull over to your car. You're going to go in the weeds or on the side of yeah. the highway. Well, I carry. I mean, a, it's that bad. I carry a Maxwell Health container go. everywhere I go. Okay. And each of these <laughs> times, they want to mark it and track it. Each one of those things, they tell you to cough. So it, the cough shows up on their their graph that they're yeah, building. This is all attached to a computer, of course. Right. Yeah. And so as you cough, it shows up as a spike on there, and they can measure it. Then they know what was going on right at that moment, how much of your bladder was holding, and so forth. So okay. you go through that whole routine. It takes about... I'd say 30 to 45 minutes Woo. with Look. all kinds of electronic Okay, but let's go over what they're doing. They're putting electronic attachments all over you down there and an electronic gigi up the butt. And in the penis and is how they pump the fluid. They actually pump the fluid. And they're pumping it up in you. They're going the opposite way. That's when... They say it's not the most pleasant thing in the world, right? No, not pleasant at all. Not pleasant at all. So. But it's a way for the urologist to really measure and know exactly what's happening. Because yeah. Because they don't know there's a lot down there. Your urethra goes through it. And when you got an enlarged prostate, they told me I didn't have prostate cancer from the biopsy. I've had two biopsies. That's another thing that's, believe it or not, it's not that bad because it's so quick. Now, I have to go to do this because he wants to know why I can't hold it, why I can't clear my bladder. That's the big point right now. Is it a muscle thing? Because there's a muscle down there that controls a lot of this. He already showed me in a book via my urologist on my last visit, which was just not even two weeks ago, was it? Yeah. It was like a week ago. I was already here. And now I'm going back down here again. So there's a muscle down there that could be weak. You could be having a bladder where your bladder just 
just doesn't seem to function. Possibly, maybe. Okay, you've got leaky bladder or something. I don't know. That's what I had. Yeah. Or your prostate is so inflamed that it's not letting you urinate through that tube. Then there's this other thing that he told me. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna stop. Where are we? We're just outside of Gainesville right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then it's what he told me while I was there. Now this gets, starts to get into one of these, you know, not the greatest subject in the world, but there's maybe other guys out there who are sitting on the fence. That's the reason I'm doing this video because I got somebody who knows sitting right here. I will know a lot more in a few hours. But he also told me, he says, when you do go, you urinate. At any time, does it sort of spray out? And I told him, oh yeah many times unless there's a ton of trajectory behind it you know there is times when the pills are making me better but that's only in the afternoon in the morning and at night forget about it it's always when i'm the most active and just so you know too i've also heard if you've got an inflamed prostate the more you move around the better the more exercise whatever I just walked just for the hell of it to see if I could do it from my house to his house, which is about exactly, right, three miles. Just because I felt like I need, I need to get some movement going on down there. You know, something needs to change because I was having all kinds of discomfort. Now, if it's not the most pleasant thing to talk about, and the only reason I'm doing it is maybe there's somebody else out there in YouTube land who doesn't know which direction or what to ask for. I'm lucky or unlucky. I'm unlucky, I'm unlucky one way because I inherited problems, but I'm lucky in another way because dad already did it. That's what this video was about. That's what I'm going to do right now. I will be doing it. It's almost nine, it's 8.58 in the morning. My appointment is at 10. Here we are, we're driving right through the University of Florida Historic District. There's usually sometimes a parking lot up here and it's just right here, it'll be like solid, here it is, solid scooters. Here we go, here's solid scooter bill. Right here, look at all them scooters. And they're all over there too. And a lot of them are gone because they're on them. But it's Scooterville. All that right there is all VA hospital. So now the thing is, is find a parking spot. The lucky thing is finding somebody who wants to leave. All right. Oh man, is that guy pulling out? Yeah. You know, us truckers, we back in. We're backing in, just like he backed in. Oh, see, last time you need to, we need to tell everybody. Last time we lost our we lost my truck. I couldn't find my truck. Yeah, last time we forgot what floor we were on, and then I had to go up here and find it. <laughs> All right, all right, I'm taking the camera with me. Should hang on to there. Hold on. All right. Oh, this was a... We got a ride. Didn't have to worry about walking. Hey, it's like on an amusement park. <laughs> all right, thanks, sir. Parking garage. Oh, All right. Coming. Uh. All right. Heading to the parking garage. Okay, folks. 
that was fun. We'll discuss it more when I get in the truck. Well, there should be no getting lost this time. This was corn venient. <laughs> Alrighty. Alright, to summarize, went to the VA Gainesville Hospital and had a procedure done checking my bladder and prostate. And I guess it was called a urinary what? Dynamics. urinary dynamics test. And So you know what it actually is, they put a catheter up there, like, and the guy showed me. The guy I had was just awesome, ex-Coast Guard, in Alaska by, by two, it was up in Alaska, and um, he shows you, he showed me every single thing that he was going to do, and uh, they put this catheter which is like this long, they put a certain amount up your penis. They put one that's like this long, thin, oh, when I say catheter, I mean it's a little tiny, tiny, skinny little tube. And they put another one that's just a sensor up your butt. Then they put a sensors in your crotch Two on your ass cheeks and two on each leg. The one up the butt is to sense you gotta go up like you're getting the finger treatment, you know, from your urologist with the prostate. That's to to sense if there's any uh, he said something about like if your prostate is twitching or whatever, because they wanna know what it's doing. And then the sensors on your butt cheeks and your groin and all is just electrical sensors for, you know, movement or something like that, he said. Then the, pro the catheter of your penis has, is attached to a machine and water goes the other way. They pump your bladder full. Well, before I even got that done, they do they did for me a sonogram. And even though I went to the restroom prior to going in there, they uh, did the sonogram and said I had like 200 milliliters still in my bladder. And he wanted to drain that. So then they stick a catheter up there all the way up into my bladder and drain that out and then we went with the procedure where they pump the water in and what it is is the test what would you say how long you can hold it or what's it really the test what would be the <clears throat> how full your bladder is yeah because they want to put water in and they want to know how easily it comes out, how long you can hold it, all this type stuff. I did really terrible. Getting to be the same things I told them. I said, you know, when I'm out fishing or something, I tell customers, you know, I got a 20 second rule. So if we're in the middle of something and I go, I drop everything. So he filled me up and he said, how it's gonna do is you hold, don't talk, but just hold one finger up it's like watching the Super Bowl and you gotta go but you're waiting on a commercial two is commercials coming on and you really gotta go three fingers is get the hell out of the way because you're running to the bathroom well he pumped me up and I don't know how fast this water goes in you I'm really not trying to look at all this I'm looking at a computer screen 
and it's showing a little graph but I went like this it's he says okay cough <coughs> you cough and then that's the benchmark where the test starts and you see the cough literally on the screen I went like this <laughs> that was it I mean when he filled me up fast and then it comes pouring out the same tube and around the tube and everything then he says well let's do it again and I'm gonna put the water in real slow well I don't know how slow real slow is but it he pumped it in it took I'd say four minutes versus 30 seconds to fill my bladder up and then I went okay one and then I went oh, two three I had to go that quick it was just that quick and he told me before I even have to see the urologist that yeah I'm not really holding it and even when I go I'm leaving a lot in my bladder so that's the problem that's my problem and you may have the same problem or somebody may have an inflamed prostate or something they're having the same problem or whatever but the test overall if you've never done it because that's the moral of the story here is the test itself going and getting the test done gives immediately he printed out all the data and gave it to my urologist immediately because sometimes you get a little more information out of these technicians and nurses than you do out of your doctor because the doctor ain't going to tell you sort of the backstory and he told me that yeah a couple weeks here you're going to hear from your doctor and you may be a candidate for another procedure where they go up in there and he says in the trade kind of like we have you know as fishermen we got in the trade kind of little lingo many times he says they do what they call the roto rooter he send another tube up there through your prostate up mr happy right through all the way up into your prostate and it's got a camera on it and a suction thing and whatever and they cut out some of the prostate to relieve the, the, relieve the pressure so you can pee more and my first question to him was oh you get that done and what are you doing permanently wearing a diaper or something he says no not necessarily he says you know that doesn't mean you're gonna be wearing a diaper so I'm glad that's over and dad said it was an extremely uncomfortable yeah I've never had any catheter thing go the wrong way before yeah it's not it's toe curling for the first time if you've never had anything go the other way it was toe curling it's a feeling that I've never felt before you know that's for sure and that's I was actually kind of sweaty on the brow when I was in there because it was kind of stressful I would say you know if you if you're watching this because you're taking this test you got to take it it's not terrible but it's just one of those what just a inconvenient short aggravation say it's an hour an hour of aggravation to figure out what your next step is and that's what they're going to do with me i feel for anybody who's got the same problem i have because sometimes when you get these urinary infections I only sleep maybe an hour and a half at a time and then I got to get up and then I got to go to back to bed and I get up and go back to bed. The infections are the worst part of it all. Other than that, I kind of almost deal with everything, but when you're holding the urine in your bladder, that's what causes it when you can't get rid of it. And that's really my problem. I need to get rid of it. 
So they're going to try to fix me up somehow, some All way. Right. All right. Day of medical fun is over. Dad gets to go in. All right, they thanks. successfully made it through. Successfully it. made it through. <laughs> Proud of you. All right. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> Talk to you later. Whew, this ride back and forth, back and forth to Gainesville is getting a little old. I appreciate everybody watching. Don't forget, give it a like and give it a comment. Oh my gosh, okay, finally. So leave a comment, don't forget to give it a like. Even if you don't like it, go ahead and like it. <laughs> All those things that everybody on YouTube is constantly saying, leave a comment. If you've got a question about this particular test for you enlarged prostate guys or anything like that, um, if you got a comment, I answer all comments that I can. I'd say I answer 98% of every comment. So, thanks for watching.